What is up guys, Teeth here with episode 1 of Tibia Hunts on my 68 Elder Druid, and today we'll be checking out Ormond, which was released in the 2014 summer update. Uh, we're going to be fighting Blood Beasts, which you can see from the start, uh, as well as Minotaur Hunters, also now in the northwest corner of the screen where all my pictures of the monsters are going to be, a Worm Priestess, and last but definitely not least is the Mutaw Warrior, which should be popping up right now. Uh, and now for those who don't know, like I said, Ormond was released in the summer 2014 update, uh, it is east of Cormay, I think, in regards to the Tibia map. Uh, it can only be accessible through Thais by a boat. And this is just going to be kind of a quick look. There'll be parts one and two. Uh, this new hunting series is going to show the spawns in their entirety, for, for the most part, I hope, as well as describe the monsters you're going to face, as well as noticeable loot. Uh, and right now, for the first episode, I'm going to move my chair here so it won't be loud. I just have the monsters on screen, but for episodes from now on, uh, I want to have the notable loot as well as uh, like a picture of the loot, uh, a sprite per se, as well as its name, its value, and what it's dropped by. So it's going to take some time to edit and whatnot, so that's why this is going to be once or twice a week max. It's going to be once a week minimal, twice max, as with school and stuff, it's going to be released on Thursdays as I'll be releasing this one tomorrow, the day I don't stream, or most likely don't stream. So. That's something to look forward to on Thursdays, but we'll discuss, discuss that in another video. Uh, for Ormond, at level 68, you're going to use, uh, well, obviously, a rod for a druid. You're going to want to have mana shield on, Utama Vita, for me, because I like having the ring of healing or the life ring on to replenish my mana faster. Excuse me. But, uh, and also just SDs. Uh, you're going to bring probably 200 SDs, 200 strong manas, and that's for like a 30 to 40 minute hunt. If that, 20 to 30 more like. Uh, but yeah, we'll get to the monsters. So first off, we have the Blood Beast, which is probably one of the more annoying creatures here because they don't really drop anything. They have no notable loot other than a couple monster drops and some items that are worth like 1 to 3k in value. Uh, and then after that, we have the Minotaur Hunter, which are primarily ranged creatures. They're going to keep the distance from you. They're always being SD range, but they do run on low health. So make sure to try and combo them quick because otherwise they'll run into further spawn and you won't be able to kill them right then and there. But they do drop, uh, what do they drop? They have red, blue, green pieces of cloth, a uh, Mutaw plate, which is, what was it, 12k, 10k maybe, if that. It's uh, an armor drop by these a few of these minotaurs, or new minotaurs, I guess, uh, as well as red, yellow gem, red and yellow gem, and some small other gems and monster drops. Uh, and then next we have the Worm Priestess, which is a, obviously, a mage creature, uh, hence the name Priestess. They're going to keep their distance as well. But they do not run on low health, so you can just SD them to death as well as use your rod. But they drop probably the most. Uh, they drop Minotaur trophies, yellow and red gems, green, blue, and red piece of cloth as well, Underworld rod, uh, many of those smaller gems, and monster drops of these new Minotaurs. Of course, Minotaur leather being one of the Minotaur horns. Finally, Mutal Warrior, which would, I would consider to be your money maker. Uh, these are where you're going to make or break your profit. Uh, they are primarily melee creature. They're gonna chase you. They're gonna try and be in melee range and attack you. They don't run on low health as well, and they give the lowest XP of them all, I think. Uh, they don't hit too hard though, so you can kite them, and they're not very fast. Uh, this is where you're gonna end up looting. Like I said, you make your profit. They drop night legs and armor, uh, red piece of cloth, some gems, gold plats, uh, muta plate as well. You're pretty much just hoping for the pock luck, like the piece of cloth, and maybe a couple night armors, night legs. That's where you're going to end up profiting, or at least breaking even, because otherwise it's it's really tough. Uh, I found anyway, because the price of SDs, you're going to burn through 10 to 20k in no time. And you'll see I just harvested those juicy roots, and they are part of the Ormond quest. Uh, I do believe it's how to become a citizen, which we won't get into that now, because this is that's not the point in this video. This is Tibia Hunts, not Tibia Quests. Uh, but yeah, you can see on my mini map the spawn is a completely above ground. It's a giant open area. You're gonna want to kind of not draw too much stuff on you, as even though you're in mana shield, uh, three or four of these can blow you up pretty good, and they'll eat through your strong mana as, as you're potting, no problem. You can see they do paralyze, but it's not quite as common. Uh, and I do believe at the first this video I don't have much luck with the uh, with the loot, so you don't really get to see much until I go back to the steps, I think. But uh, I know in part two. I make the second part of the video where I show the whole spawn, I get to the whole above ground island. I end up looting some, maybe some night legs, I don't know. But I know I loot like a bunch of other random small stuff. But, we'll get back into discussing the hunt. Uh, 
two to three hunters is all you're going to want on it most with a priestess. You'll see here, sometimes they haste as well. Uh, what I like to do, this is where I kind of got sketched out when I brought this much on me. I like to have some AoE runes on me as well, just in case uh, Minotaur Hunter is just off screen and you want to finish them off quick uh, rather than having to run over to them and maybe get an SD off because everyone knows when you're trying to pound a hockey while you're chasing after something, sometimes it doesn't work. So I like to bring GFEs and I have as 50 of each is plenty. They're honestly just to finish them off. You'll see uh, I'm just looting some Slime Hearts and Poison Fangs from the Blood Beasts. Uh, that's all you're going to get from them. Maybe a glued steak. That's a Mutab. What's it? Not a Mutab, Mutab plate, but I'm not sure. It's one of their drops, like their uh, creature products. But another good thing about this spawn is another way to possibly make your money is these are all Minotaurs and they're all skinnable. So as you're hunting the spawn, you can skin the Minotaurs you've killed. Uh, since you are often running back to where you just came from, I don't like to skin them right away sometimes. I like to kind of kill the spawn, move in a bit, and then and eventually kite the monsters back towards where I just came from, and then I get to, instead of having to wait the, what is it, five to seven seconds after the body is dead to skin them, I can just skin them then, and I can skin five in a row and just keep on running. As well as you don't want to get caught in back spawn, so you don't want to get too aggressive where you run too far east as the spawn, you start, you go from west to east mostly, uh, and get caught in the spawn. At level 68, it'd be pretty easy for me to die, and there's our first red piece of cloth. Uh, if you've seen my house, I have, like, I don't know, say, 10, 10, and 10 between blue pox, green pox, and red pox. And that's pretty much just from here. Unfortunately, the value of red pox have gone down greatly because of the Fury Dungeon, but still, it's definitely a profitable uh, item. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to go this whole 10 minutes. Maybe I'll put a song in at the end of it. Because this video is only 10 minutes long, but I'm kind of struggling. You know what? I will do that. So tell me what you think. This is going to be my new series. Uh, tibia Hunts is hopefully going to be a good series. I plan on keeping this in regular because my Tibia videos have been slacking on YouTube sim simply because I've been focusing on Twitch. But if you guys enjoyed this, leave a like. If you didn't enjoy it, tell me why. What can I do better? What do I need to get rid of? And what do I need to stop? I know my commentating is still kind of working its way back as I'm not used to this structured commentating rather than just I'm used to playing and talking and answering questions while looking at my stream. But I imagine I'll get better. I have a pair of two ready to go. So maybe I'll put that up in the weekend just to possibly show that I may get two videos a week. I don't know. From this series. I'm going to put other videos up. But I'll put up another video just to talk about this one too. <laughs> uh, yeah, guys. So like I said, if you liked it, show me some love. Click, click the like button. If you didn't, click dislike or tell me why. Uh, I guess that's all for now, guys. So take care. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I will see you soon. Well, I will talk to you soon. I probably won't see you. Peace. Blue Park, yeah.